Hello, thank you for watching this video. In this video, we mainly talk about uh, two points. First one, how to choose the import power supply for our RD series power supply. And uh, second, uh, the nodes when you connect the load on the power supply. Okay. First one, uh, how to choose the import power supply for our RT series power supply. It is very simple. Just notice two requirement. One, uh, the input voltage range should be uh, in the allowed input voltage range. For example, RDCC30, its power on voltage is 7 volt to 17 volt. Then you, your power supply should be uh, in this voltage range. And the second, the Output of your input power supply should be stable. Like your, you have a 65 volt uh, switching power supply, uh, the output should be stable 65 volt. Uh, it cannot be have a over 70 volt DC in short time and it went back. But it is already enough to kill the protection when it is not in this range. Okay, uh, so that if you just order the DC to DC part, we will send you a lot of message. We recommend you to order the switching power supply, and we do not suggest you uh, to use a modified power supply, second-hand power supply, uh, e-bike charger. Uh, we recommend you to use a switching power supply because uh, it is uh, easier to control the uh, import uh, voltage. Like this, it is a uh, 1200 watt, 68 volt uh, power supply. Uh, you can also use yours, it is okay. Uh, for example, uh, if you want to use it to power on RD6080, it is 1080 watt, so that use it, it is already enough. If you want to power on RD6024, it is 1440 watt. You need to use 1500 watt uh, power supply. Okay, this is for power, and this is for voltage. For switching power supply, its voltage is should be stable. And uh, if you want to use the RD power supply and use 60 volt DC output, uh, 68 volt DC input is already enough. And it is also in the 70 volt DC range. Okay, then for the not recommend power supply like a battery, okay, battery charger, you can see it shows that it is for uh, it is 60 volt DC output. It is, when you see it to charge the uh, e-bag e battery, it is okay. But in some short time, it will have an uh, over high uh, output voltage. It will kill the power supply. Then we do not recommend it. Uh, in our early power supply, uh, RD power supply, uh, we do not have this one. It is called Import Voltage Protection Board. Uh, it is used to protect the device from over high input voltage. Uh, after some RD power supply is damaged by customers' uh, power supply, which have over high input voltage, uh, then we add this one. Uh, it, is, it will protect the device from over high input voltage. It will burn it itself to protect the circuit update. Uh, and uh, if you find uh, your power supply, RT power supply do not light when you power on it, uh, you can short, short the pin 1 and the pin 3 of the input voltage protection board, uh, see if it works again. If it works, then it means uh, that this board is damaged by over high input voltage, then you can replace it but it will be a bit difficult. Then for the load you connect, there is no problem to power on resistor, lights, 
and you, or you want to boil the water, there is no problem. But if you connect a load like a motor, uh, we make it in short short video before. Uh, if you connect a load like a motor, it is inductive load. Uh, then you need to limit the output in one third of the power supply output range. Like this RD6030, if you power on motor, you can only use 10 MP max.